Hey, it's Pastor Mike. If you enjoy listening to this podcast and make it a regular part of your day, can I ask for your regular support? We really can't make any of our sermon series or devotions without the continual support of friends like you. Time of Grace, in case you didn't know, is 100% donor-funded, meaning it is your gifts that make it possible for us to use television and print and digital media to share the good news of God's amazing grace. Just click on the link in the episode notes, and thank you for all of your prayers and all of your support. God bless. In the Bible, there's an incredibly heartbreaking story about a man named Job. In a single day, he lost all of his possessions, he lost his kids, his family, and then in short order, he also lost his physical health, developing painful sores across his entire body. The story of Job is a story of personal resilience in the face of hard times. But there's also another story that we see develop early on in his story. In Job chapter 2, we see the story of his three friends, and they come to him, they're ready to give him some encouragement and some support, and this is how it starts. They sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. No one said a word to him because they saw how great his suffering was. In that moment, those three friends simply showed compassion to him, and to show compassion, it required them to be extremely patient and just sit with him. And that's the main point I wanted to share with you today. When it comes to the love and compassion you show to people, it often requires patience to go along with it. You see this time and time again from Jesus' life. When, for example, he wanted to feed a large crowd of people at the end of a very long day and a very long week, he had patience with them. Because of his patience, he was able to stay with them for a while and continue to love them and feed them. We see this in many other examples of Jesus' life to the point where he even endured death on a cross. He patiently underwent suffering because his death on a cross was the punishment for our sins in our place. God's patience with you was necessary in order for him to show compassion and love to you. So today's application is going to be difficult, I know, but this is the best path forward when it comes to recognizing the importance of patience and improving it. But as you think about the importance of patience, think about one person in your life whom you love, whom you have compassion for, but your impatience has prevented you from showing it the way you want it to. And as you think about that person, would you think specifically the impact your impatience has had? Maybe you weren't able to be there for them in a moment that they could have used it. Maybe you didn't reach out in a moment where you felt like maybe you should. As you think about this person in your life, take a moment to think about the impact your impatience had on them and maybe even take the step of calling them up and saying, hey, I just want you to know I love you, but I'm working on my impatience so that I can love you even better. I think when it comes to patience, we could all learn to grow a little bit in this area. And starting in the next few days, we're going to get super practical about ways that you can grow in your patience. But today, really focus on why. Your compassion requires your patience. And if there's someone in your life who you want to get more patient with, maybe this is a good moment for you to pause and think about them. And if it helps, maybe even share this video with them and maybe you can grow in your patience together.